I've got 10 different clone fragrances here that you should consider picking up this fall. Even though we hate the bottle, Detour Noir is a beautiful Leighton clone. This is some fantastic stuff. If you really like Leighton, you should pick this one up. Or if you want to get into the Leighton DNA, this is a great pickup. Absolutely love Detour Noir. It's smooth, it's fresh, it's a beautiful apple opening, a beautiful musk character to it. It smells like a traditional sexy cologne. I mean, just, but the bottle just turns off everybody known to mankind because this thing looks horrendous. It looks like a car crash. You just can't turn away from it. Fresh, it's inviting, it's sweet, it's powerful, and it's intoxicating. Chicks, women, uh, the grocery store manager, they love this stuff. They all love this stuff. Try it out for yourself. It's like 20 bucks. Who can beat that? Not a lot of... I wore this next fragrance the other day. This is Baccarat. This is the Extract de Parfum clone of Baccarat Rouge 540, the Extract de Parfum. I think I said that already. But So you kind of get the same kind of feel as the original, definitely. But uh, this one comes across a little bit more youthful, I guess you could say. I guess that would be the best word for it. But it still has the sweetness, the powerfulness. And this one, I find it has this like chlorine kind of smell, like this pool liner smell. It smells great, it smells fresh, it smells invigorating. That's a good word. It's definitely unisex. I think it leans a little bit into the feminine side, but uh, for the most part, it's very pleasant. It's a very beautiful, sexy fragrance in the air. When you spray this on it and you like driving, like imagine yourself driving and the wind's blowing in your hair and you smell this, you're gonna be like, I smell fantastic, I should get laid right now. And then nobody wants to lay you. All right, when I first bought this one, I was a little repulsed by it, but I wore it the other day, I sprayed it on my hand, I was like, why did I give this so much flack? So this is uh, Starman by Nebula. This is from Fragrance World, and this is a clone of Pure Malt. And so I initially was repulsed by this. I bought it and I was just like, this is horrendous. Who would wear this? And then I sprayed it on and I was like, okay, okay. This is actually nice. It's boozy, it's sweet, it's sexy, a little bit of a woody patchouli kind of smell. It's very nice. I like the way that this thing rocks. Now, would I say that this is for everybody? No, no, I would not. I think if you bought this and you have a, I don't want to say a weaker nose, that's stupid. If you have a, let's just say Nautica Voyage nose where everything smells good if it's not a good voyage. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say here. So if you have a virgin nose, it might be a little weird. It might be a little, um, you might have the same reaction I did because I was a virgin. You might pick it up and you might be like, what the fuck is this? But then you just gotta wear it a little bit and then you kind of build up an immunity to it. It's kind of like life. You just get stepped on, stepped on, stepped on. Sooner or later, you just stop giving a shit and you start wearing parachute pants. North Stag's Nefs. This is uh, some good stuff. This is an Angel Share, not Angel Share. This is Grand Soir. This is a Grand Soir clone. I, Angel Share is on my mind right now, sorry. It's benzoin, it's lavender, it's fresh, it's inviting. A lot of ethylene brass slate in here, which I love, but it's just very potent, very powerful. So close to Grand Soir with this on the market, there's no really reason you would buy Grand Soir unless you want the bottle and the identity. Listen, if I if I had, listen, if I had money, if I had just change laying around everywhere, I'd probably just buy this again. Oh, I would probably just buy Grand Soir because, you know, you get the identity thing behind it and then you get, you know, the sexy bottle too. Anyway, I digress. It's very sexy, vanilla, benzoin. You can't beat that. This one had me intrigued when I first bought it. I was a little taken back by it, but this is Your Drugged by Amir. And this is a intoxicated clone. And this is pretty fantastic. This is a coffee kind of base fragrance. It's got a lot of rich cardamom in here, some nutmeg, some beautiful spice elements, but it's mainly that coffee. Pretty damn delicious too. If I do say so myself, this is very rich, heavy. This is a going out fragrance. This is not like taking your dog to the smoothie shop where you're meeting the love of your life dressed in a sundress in the middle of July. This is like deep despair, winter, you're regretting all your decisions that you made in previous summertime. You have no relationship. You're just hitting the gym. You're getting jacked so that you can rub it in your ex's face. You're drugged, now you're depressed. Tobacco Touch is another one. This is a clone of Tobacco Vanille, and Tobacco Vanille is a very sexy vanilla tobacco smell, and you need to smell like this. 
because this is the masterpiece of all masterpieces. I don't know what that means, but what it, what it does for you is you smell sexy, you smell vanilla, tobacco. Um, it definitely plays on that unisex vibe. It's very fresh to a certain extent with the fresh musk. Uh, beautiful stuff in here though. But the main thing you get with it is like a spicy, vanilla tobacco beautifulness. Really. Fantastic stuff. If you haven't tried it out, you need to get on it. I'm pretty sure it's on Amazon right now, so you get Jeff Bezos one day shipping on it, and you you know you feel fantastic about yourself. You could be smelling fantastic in two days flat, or one day flat, same day delivery. Speaking of Jeff Bezos, this is what he wears. This He wears Hercules by Mason Alhambra. And don't fact check me on that, but this is a very good, beautiful tobacco fragrance like the other one, but this one is kind of like Spice Bomb, the original, so it's kind of in that same day. But it's a, it, this one is a clone of Herod, and it, that's, it's not a Spice Bomb clone, but this one is fantastic too. Very rich vanilla, tobacco, sexiness. It, this one lasts actually for a long time, quite nice. Whenever I find a fragrance that lasts for a long time, I cherish it to my heart because you know, when you work like, you know, 10, 12 hour days, you're just like, yeah, my fragrance is still around. I don't have to carry it with me. That's always fantastic. But um, this one smells really, really good um, throughout the life of the fragrance. It's very warm, tobacco, vanilla, a little bit of a benzoin kind of character in there, but it's very much like Herod. Um, it's like 90% close. It is very, very much a one-to-one -one clone. And I, I'm talking about in the air too, because in the air, it's gonna smell like 100%, because people are just gonna smell something fantastic blowing towards them. They're not gonna be like, ooh, that's Mason Alhambra, that's not Parfum Simarly, what are you doing? You're an uncultured swine. They're not gonna say that. They're gonna be like, wow, you smell fantastic. You smell like a rough man, I wanna, I wanna bang you. Dream Catcher, this one I've been trying out recently, and that stuff, this stuff is so good. So I've had the original one of this, but I gave it away. You know why I gave it away? Because I was broke, okay? I needed some extra cash. I'm just kidding. I gave it to a friend, actually. And one of the reasons I decided to give it away um, was because of the performance issues. Uh, I love the scent. And when I was dating at the time, the chicks that I was dating loved the scent too. So that wasn't not, not the issue. The issue was is I sprayed it on it. God, like my dreams. But this was really good. I really loved the scent. I've always been like putting off buying an extra bottle, buying another bottle. Cause I was like, I'm a fragrance reviewer I needed in my collection. But I drop the ball all the time. I buy clones and I don't have the original to compare to. So me. So I wanted to buy the original of this again, but I decided to try this one out first. And let me just say that this one lasts for a long time and it smells identical. So I'm like, over the moon that I actually have this back in my collection. It smells merely identical, and in the air it smells identical, and I get my performance that I want. Score! Oh, here's another clone that I will never buy the original because I think it's a ripoff. This is uh, Royal Oud by Ministry of Oud, and this is a uh, Royal Oud from Creed clone. And Royal Oud is like $500. It's so expensive, and it's ungodly expensive. You have to be loaded you have to be like a drop shipper that's driving a ferrari anyway but it's very good um i like it a lot it's fresh it's inviting and the oud character is pleasant enough to where it's not like overly done and it's not like weird off-putting you know but i like this one a lot very fresh pink pepper um citrus combo in here but then it has the underlaying woods the argo wood that is just super dense and it makes for such a beautiful fragrance, but it's dosed quite low to where you can you can feel the denseness, but you still get the freshness. That makes no sense. I like it a lot. All right, so I love my Angel Share clones. I love them. I have like four of them. Um, I'm gonna just be buying the original instead of buying another Angel Share clone here eventually. And so there's a billion on the on the market. There are so many Angel Share clones on the market. Do not buy all of them. They're, it's a waste of money. Just just buy Angel Share and it will save you hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars because there's so many and everything changes all the time. Anyway, this is a, this is um, Intoxicate. This is a clone. This is one of 1000 clones of Angel Share. Uh, but I like this one a lot because it has a it amplified like boozy aspect with this one. 
and it has like this apple-y character too. I love this stuff so much and I wear this to one to bed a lot. Anyway, it's warm, it's cinnamony, it's smooth, it's sexy, it's uh, nutmeg, it's just beautiful. And one honorable mention I wanted to mention, I, uh, I don't want to mention this one because I want to keep it a secret, gatekeeping, hashtag, hashtag gatekeeping. But this one is um, an Oud for Greatness clone. I'm not even gonna say the name because I'm gatekeeping it. I'll put it up on screen there. Let me know what clone do you love in the fall time? I wanna know down in the comments down below because I'm going to be picking them up. I'm gonna be buying all of them. Thanks for watching the video guys. We'll see you next time.